Okay, so we're going to be using the Necromonican Tarot, okay, by Ann Stewart, okay? And let's tap into, like, what dark practices are karmics or evil practitioners doing against the uh, collective. I feel like they're doing um, um, evil ritualistic ceremonies where they're um, using kitchen products in order to manifest. Um, it's more than a demonic force. Uh, this is a high-ranking demon. Okay. Mm. Have the devil here as well okay um there is you know the devil it has different names just like god right and so in 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 this uh tarot uh deck is called ramalgia all right um and it has like an octopus um head all right, and it's like a, a sea creature, some type of sea creature here. They're also doing um, spells for uh, there to be uh, vehicle accidents, car problems. So you can have some type of issues with the law when it comes to driving. They want to cause some type of injury, all right, or uh, they also are manifesting for it to be, see, they're, they're actually conjuring and summoning the beast of Babylon. Uh, that's a very powerful demon, by the way, all right, it has the energy of seven demonic forces in one. I, I'm seeing secret societies here and some like um, evil covenants, some evil associations, evil institutions. Wow. See, we got a moon. This is an, amp, uh, an emperor demon. Okay, a moon. All right. Um, this demon is being conjured or summoned. In order for there to be the seven of swords, and in a, in order for there to be, um, um, it's more than just stealing. It's actually, um, they're conjuring for there to be tragedies. Okay, for someone to get stabbed to death, um, and make it seem like it's some type of robbery done wrong, but it's not. It's actually intended. Yeah. It's planned. It's intentional. All right. They might use the um the excuse that they have certain disorders. Okay, whether it's personality, um issues or um mental, uh, it's the difficulties. Um, they're planning this. So therefore, that's not gonna slide. They're not gonna go to some asylum. They're actually gonna get locked up. All right, and they're gonna get killed while they're locked in prison. All right, and these are individuals that are like hitmen, that are used by uh, different uh, evil practitioners. Okay. They're calling upon Ishtar. Okay, we have the star here. They're also um, doing spells for. Um, for you to get attacked by um, dogs or some type of beast, some type of wild animal. Okay, we have a few cards here that flipped over. Let's see what that is. All right, they're doing spells so individuals could drink their, themselves to death. Okay. So someone's gonna, they're doing spells so individuals get like liver disease. So they could have kidney malfunction. Wow. 
Okay, I'm seeing the Six of Cups here. Okay, so there's like control spells also that are being done in secret. Okay, this is a mother figure. And then this is uh, some type of lover. But she uses him as like a slave or something, like a sex slave of some sort. Yeah, wow. Okay, so this is like um spells for there to be like a gang of a uh, gang related crime okay yeah this is a gang related crime i feel that very strong energy of like a, a party where individuals there's like more than a drive-by it's more like an assassination some type of massacre this is overkill um I'm also seeing the Knave of Swords, so there's a lot of spying, there's hacking on uh, cellular devices. I'm also seeing that the, the food is getting all uh, like, because of the um, evil energy that is stuck in their, whether it's their environment, their home, wherever they live, I feel like the food gets like spoiled fast. You see how there's, I, I, I'm seeing mold, all right? And also, I'm seeing that they're calling upon demons, so there could be, like, um, pest. Whenever there is an infestation of demonic energy, there's always, like, roaches, rats, flies. Those are all manifested by um, evil practices, and um and they call upon um a specific i'm not gonna mention who that demon is um but that demon is the one that causes there to be spiders and all kinds of pests okay larva parasites shit like that so that's a confirmation right there we have the energy of big the demon called Big. Okay. Three of Swords. Alright. Okay. So they're doing spells. So whoever you're attracted to or whoever you are in a relationship or a connection with. So there could be betrayal and 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 there could be temptation. Alright. So they're calling upon a sex demons, right? Incubus and succubus. For those of you that know which one is the male and which one is the female uh, demonic force. For you, those of you that are light and dark, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, Queen of Swords, okay? Um, they're trying to manifest um, this. Uh, chaotic um, misinterpretation where they want individuals to misunderstand your point of views all right for there to be you know a, a violation of guidelines and whatnot okay because we all know for those of us that are psychics that the Queen of Swords is a wise female that speaks the truth she might be blunt, but she's very direct, and she speaks on facts, okay? Whether she's mad or angry, whatever she says, she stands by it. Because her point of views have been, like, meticulously um, um, researched. She does a proper uh, research and studies, okay? This is a this is an individual that has PhD in theology and the forbidden knowledge. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they're also doing spells so there so you could like uh, attract beast energy. All right, individuals that just that do bestiology, bestiology, which is means that when you practice on um satanic um uh, practices individuals will fuck anything including animals and that's something that um people need to know 
that they are pansexuals, meaning they fuck anything and anything.